that I post on page 17 of exhibit EE. Just want to place the last remaining information on record. On the 30th of April 2015. Sorry, seven, page 17. Indeed, so my lord. Yeah. Just to complete the record, posting date 30 April 20, 30 April 2015, posting date, transaction date 30 April 2015, interest received 25 cents, balance 58 and 73 cents, posting date 30 April 2015, transaction date 30 April 2015, monthly account admin fee 5 rents, balance 63 rents and 73 cents, posting date 31. May 2015, transaction date 31 May 2015, interest received 24 cents, balance 63 and 97. Posting date 31 May 2015, transaction date 31 May 2015, monthly account admin fee, five rents, and then balance 58 rent and 97. Posting date 30 June 2015, transaction date. 30 June 2015 interest received, balance 5918. Posting date 30 June 2015, transaction date 30 June 2015 monthly admin fee of 5 rand, balance 54 rand and 18. And then that's the end. And then transaction not yet processed on your account up to 30 June 2015. There are no unprocessed transaction items. Transactions before 1 April 2018 amount inclusive of 14% VAT. Transactions from 1 April 2018 amount inclusive of 15% VAT. Checks not yet processed on your account up to 30 June 2015. There are no unprocessed check items. There's a Capitec Bank stamp dated 9 April 2024. Branch device 20600. Available balance 00. And at the bottom of the page, the footer is Capitec Bank, it's an authorized financial services, in brackets FSP4, 6669, and, and uh, close bracket, and the registered credit provider, open bracket, NCR, CP13, close bracket, Capitec Bank Limited registration number 1980, stroke 003695, stroke 06, that's page 3 of 3, unique document number 7937, 166, 1666, E466, 4487, 86, A4, 7, EFD1, EA5C, 5C, stroke 204, stroke V001, stroke 04, stroke 2018, and then in brackets, DDMMMCCYY, close bracket. That is the end. Of, exhibit, of the exhibit, I'll proceed to another exhibit. It's on page? I'll just refer the code Seven. now. Yeah, you say you are through with page 17. No? Yes. to page 11 or 14. Sorry, sorry, for my edification. <clears throat> On page four, 4 of 14, right? I just want to understand because I see the ID, alleged ID, identity document of Mr. Ntanzi. That's correct, my lord. Yeah, this, and I also see the photo. I take it it's his. That's correct. Who placed these documents in this spec? M meaning, is it the bank? Did you get them from the bank? Or where do you get these documents from? That is correct. It's from the bank, my lord. It yeah, comes with that's the not clear for me. So it is the bank that when they were opening the account, they took a photocopy of uh, the ID. ID. That's correct, my lord. And they also took a photo of Mr. Ntanzi. That is correct. Now, who's going to confirm this? Because now Mr. Ntanzi is alone there. Uh, Mr. Ntanzi, in can't tell the phone to us. Because we're going to stop the lapayana. 
That one. I'm just going to hold it. Uh, I think the second photo, it's what the, uh, the person from the bank will come and verify because he concedes that he does supply his ID and then a copy is made upon application. But this second photo, the color one, uh, the, the it's one in the below, bank. It's in yes. the bank. You can take instructions. Did they ever take, I mean, let's, I just want to understand. Yes. Did they take his photo? If they didn't, that's all he has to tell the court. Yes. They didn't take the photo. Because it's inside the... Mr. Sibanda, where is this photo? Yes, I see it. It's inside the bank, my lord. Yeah, just have a look at it. So if he had never went to the bank, because that's maybe his defense, fine. Yeah. Rules. Because Mr. Sibande, he's supposed to have explained this to the court. You just started reading uh, the statements. My instructions are that he confirms that the photo is him depicted on this photo. Whether or not the photo was taken, he was not appraised that okay, a, fine. A, a, a additional photo was being taken. Fine, okay. This confirms my the card, please. Procedure on page 11, my lord. Page 11. Yeah. An extra affidavit in terms of section 236 of Act 51 of 1977, 
exposition of accounting records and or documents attached here to ID number 86011562086 is linked to the below account 7 copies of the bank statements of savings account of client Mr. Fisokutle Ntuli being account number 21640710049 statement for the period 2014-01 Stroke 01, stroke 01 to 2015, stroke 06, stroke 30, being account number 11, 65614071, statement for the period 2014 01 to 2015, stroke 06, stroke 30. Four, these were the only transactions for the period requested. Eight, copies of extra <coughs> particulars of the account holder. A, client information. B, copy of ID document. Please note that there's no bank statement for account number 21640710049 as the account was opened after the bank statement date requested. D, account number 16561407111 was the main account that the above mentioned client was using during the time and dates requested. The deponent signed, commissioner of oath also signed, commissioner of oath signed. And then in the Republic of South Africa, full names Yuvir Dibeser, designation admitted attorney, ex officio, Republic of South Africa, date Tuesday, 9 April 2024, place Capitec Bank, business address 60 Main Street, Johannesburg. On page 12, my lord. My lord, I also want to place it on record that there were some consensus with um, the defense counsel for accused number five regarding the document, and as such, the state will only put um, certain information on record. The, docu the information is not disputed by the defense. Okay. I'll start at the bottom, uh, in, on top, rather. First, let us case 636 of 10 2014, account number. 21640771049 then space za status open branch number 9005 account type it's a savings account and then account name yes savings account customer name mr fisokutle nduli and then space f phone resident 073-3059202. Open dates 20 August 2023. Current balance 29,372.96. Then I'll move to the second account. One one six five six one four four seven one space za status close branch number four one nine four account type savings account account name savings account customer name Mr. Fisoko Tentuli space then F phone resident zero seven three three zero five nine two zero two open date 9 February 2008. Interest from date 1 May 2021. Last financial date 2 May 2021. My Lord, the, the, the details that I put is the same details that the bank indicated on paragraph D on page 11, that is the main account. Yeah. And on page 13, the state will put the following information on record. Last name, Ntuli, initials, F, ID number. It's on record. I won't place it on record. Is there, just for the privacy of the accused person. It ends with 086, address 
It's an address that is in Dengeni, just for also for the safety of the accused person as well. I want to stand record. I'm sorry, my lord. My lord, we have just given the consent to the state that the document may be admitted by consent. There is no need to read the information contained on this uh, spaces into the record, my lord. Is it by consent or section 220? I'm asking. Is it in terms of section 220 or by consent? It's both, my lord, because it's... it's it can't be both. It has to be 220, if it's admitted as it is. My lord, I thought the state was reading this information no, in no, terms I, of I section... No, what you agreed. I'm just saying the law says if you admit a document which is tendered as evidence, you admit it in terms of section 220. That's not that I know. Uh, that's correct, my lord. Yeah, How, however, in this case, my lord, the state is reading this information in no, terms no, of in terms of section 236. And section 236 says the mere production of the record, my lord. Therefore, we're consenting to that to say the mere production, we consent, we can submit the record by consent. Is it by consent of section 220? The state, because I, Ms. I think Tololo says it should you be agree. by section 220. It should be done by way of section 220 admissions. It has to be done, unless if you give me an authority that uh, you can admit evidence by consent. I don't know of that exigence. Mr. Svanda, you've got, you've got 220 there. I section don't have 220. section 220, my lord. Mr. Baloui has it. And then Section 220 says, once you have admitted a document in terms of Section 220, then the state is not obliged to prove the contents of that document. We don't have a problem, I don't admit to that. 220, fine, okay. Okay. I just want to get um, guidance from the court. Must I then? What's that? I just want to get indication from the court. Must I wait so that we can sort out the issue of section 220 admissions? Or must no, I? Mr. Solono agrees to, 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 to 220. So Am I correct? I'm agreed, my lord. Yeah. That's the, the name of the accused person opened the account as per the, the details contained in the statement and the information contained there for. Is admitted, my lord. Okay, as which is correct. on page, as you say, page 13. Is that all? That is correct, my lord. Yes, my lord, page 13. Okay. Uh, page 13, 12. It's page 11, 12, and 13, my lord. So that 11, refers to 11, 12, 12 and, 13. and 13. It refers to the bank account that was opened hmm. under the name of accused number five, Mr. Ntuli, my lord. Okay. And it bears the account number which was active and also the the one that was inactive. Yeah. And it also bears the number, cell phone number, which is the most important thing that was given by accused number five at the time when he opened this account. Okay. And the address there too. That's all, my lord. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And 20, are they also admitted so that I can save time? You say the transactions? 
on page 18, 19, and page 20. 18, 19, and 20. That's yes. correct, my lord. Yes, Mr. Mshololo. My lord, I, I, I confirm maybe just to make it easier for the court that the records from page 11, 12, and 13, they are for the net bank account. Okay. And then the records from page 18, 19, and 20 are from the Capitec account. Okay. The information content there too, referring to Mr. Ntuli, we confirm that it is correct. We admit it by consent. Okay. Uh, page 11, 12, 13, Akuluma again, the account of the ASN Net Bank, Bessel Gutu 18, 19, or 20, the transactions of Kuluma Awoge, a Capitec account to your Nage, Futige, a mini Namagam account to get a commission to the local self of Melana. I just want to clarify something on record. We are still busy with Capitec Bank, we have not studied with Net Bank. So I think my colleague made, made a mistake. It's, Page 11, 12, and 13 is still KPTEC. Yeah, there. then it says 18. Sorry, 11, From 12, it's Net Bank, you said. It's, it's KPTEC. Sorry. Page 11, 12, and 13 is which bank? KPTEC Bank. Not Net Bank. KPTEC. Ms. Mshololo, is that KPTEC? Because I heard you say Net Bank. And then you said Capitec is 18, 19, and 20. My Lord, I was under the impression that it is net bank. Okay, so 11, 12, yes. and 13. Yes. It's what? Capitec bank. Capitec. Capitec. Capitec, not net bank. That's Fine. Okay. Okay. 11, 12, and 13, you come on net bank. I go to page 11, 12, and 13, you know, I can't do it. I Capitec. Put him to shoot a lot of figure in that pen. Now I will move to page eight, nine, and fourteen with regard to accused number four. And Mr. Numal also gave an indication that he will admit such documents. I just want to get the relevant. Bank statement for that period. So it's page? Page 8. 8. 9. 10. 8. 9. 10. Not 14. Is it in respect of Mr. Mapisa? That's correct, Mr. Mapisa. Do that again, Madam Chief. I will page 8 to 9 or 10. Umay uh, dana nayego u Mr. Mapisa puti umay ekulumisa na nayego advocate mumalo na yo ushilo ge uguti ge abazu pixa na nayo ge imi mimi guanele. You confirm that you have agreed that page eight, nine, and ten in respect of your client's account. It's account number two two. Four eight two two nine seven eight six. I see there are two account numbers here, and then there's another account which is one three nine two zero eight four five five three. Are you referring to the two accounts or which account? My lord, uh, firstly, I confirm that uh, the two accounts. Two accounts. Yes, the two accounts right. are in respect of my client, Mr. Mapiesa. Right. Yes, I also confirm the correctness of the address as well as the cell phone number provided. In terms of section 220? In terms of section 220 of the Criminal Procedure Act. Okay, thank you. I also confirm the entries of the bank statement. Yeah. Yes, in terms of section 220 okay, of the you. Criminal Procedure Act. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay, also add that uh, the state was interested in the entries of the 25th, sorry, of the 26th of October 2014 and the 27th of October. 26th of October and 27th of October 2014. 
of which we also admit. You admit them? Yes, yeah. in terms of Section 220 of the Criminal Procedure okay. Act. Which one of 1977. Thank you. Okay, it is so admitted then. Just for sake of the record, the bank statement appears from page 18 to page 25 of exhibit EE2. EEE2. From page 18 to 25. In relation to. Um, My apologies, 21 to 25, my apologies, my lord. Hello? 21 to 25. So it's not on 18. It's 21, my apologies. Page 21. 21. 21 to 1 to... 25. 25. Okay. Yeah, okay. Call, please. Uh, my Lord, I want to move now to exhibit EEE4. It will now appear at the end of page 25. We're going to start now with new uh, exhibit 1. It's a 236 statement from NetBank. Bank, I'm not sure if Ms. Mshololo has instructions um, to admit this. Um, Documents on behalf of Mr. Mgome Zulu. Yes, Mr. Zulu. No, no, no. I don't have such a instructions, man. <laughs> no. Yeah. He says he doesn't have the instructions. But Mr. Mgome Zulu said, Ms. Mshololo, we stand on my stead. And I explained what that means, legal, to Mr. Miek. My Lord, maybe if I can just ask for a short adjournment to call him yeah, and call take him. instructions. Because he gave you, he gives you the mandate, his mandate. He transmits and transfers it to you to do in his stead what he would have done. That's the court business. That's what his letter says, anyway. If you read it. Because he says, please note that Mr. Mgome Zulu relays the message as follows, that the proceedings may proceed in his absence, as Advocate Mshololo will stand in for him. It's not me saying that. You'll call me when you're ready.